Now, all the sports attention has shifted to golf over the past week with the Masters in Melbourne and, of course, Tiger Woods down under. Now, we know that Tiger was just a toddler when he took up golf and was a true prodigy. <laughs> Tiger has since inspired a new generation of golfers and happens to be this little guy's idol. Ah, oh, beautiful. Well, <laughs> Meet like Finn Beaumont, a three-year-old from Sydney, who is already being compared to okay, Woods. Ah, oh, much better. Nice flight, Finn. Yes. <laughs> Finn started hitting golf balls as soon as he started walking and was playing on the course by the age of two. And Finn joins us now, Good along night. with his parents, Dale and Catherine Beaumont, and Finn's golf instructor, Matt Wiltshire. Good morning to you all. Hi, guys. Uh, Finn's off and running. Hey, Finn. Hey, Gum. Oh, Finn. Tony, no, you're right. He's, he's too playing busy. a shot. Larry. Too busy. <laughs> I'm looking from the gallery, Larry, when he's actually playing can't a shot. To, I can't even talk to him. <laughs> Dale, where, when did all this start? As soon as he was walking, right? As soon as he was walking, yeah. At nine months, I went to the driving range and I was just hitting some golf balls and Catherine came and was just holding him. And then just a few months later, he must have just locked that into his memory because he got home and picked up a, a stick around the house and some tennis balls and just started hitting them and just yeah. kept getting better and better and then started watching on the TV. And then from there, his skills just improved. See, I'm hearing that story. Oh! oh holy <laughs> <laughs> was, that a, was that a good shot? It's a good shot. Is that a good shot? Carly, you're so not interested in it. No, he's not. He's just, <laughs> see, look how focused he is. I'm hearing this story, Catherine, and I'm thinking that you... Oh, another one. Yay! <laughs> I'm hearing this story thinking you guys must be just mad golfers. Is that the case? No, um, we don't play at all. Uh, Dale occasionally will go to the driving range just to slog a few balls. Yeah. Um, however, no, I've never played and Dale probably once or twice a year. Uh, hey, wow. Finn, can I, chat, can I ask you a question, mate, before you hit that next ball? What, oh, what do you love about golf? What do you love about golf? Ten? <laughs> no? <laughs> See, I have a special way with kids. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate, you keep going. You do what you do. Matt, how did you then come on the scene? Because here we've got two... Oh! oh another one! Oh, oh, damn it, I love it gets the ball out of the hole. It's just too cute. <laughs> so how did you then become involved, Matt? Because one thing, you know, to have a cute... Oh, a big smile. To have a little cute kid, kick, you know, hitting a few balls around a the park. But then to have a golf... Bring in a golf pro. How does that happen? Well, Finn came down to our the Northern Beaches Golf Centre yeah. where we run a, a kids program down there. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the weekend we, we give them free golf balls and they come down and they hit some balls. Yeah. And uh, that's where I first met Finn. Yeah. And uh, from there we've been just working with him on the weekends. There's uh, obviously not too much you can do with a three-year-old in terms of technique, but yeah. Finn's got what every coach wants and that is passion. For the game. So I was going to ask you, I mean, we were talking about Tiger Woods at the top of the segment there. Mm. Is that something, can you look at someone, Finn's size and, and age, and go, they've got, apart from the passion, everything else that you need in the toolkit? Yeah, well, definitely. I mean, I've got a three-year-old and, you know, I'm a golf yeah, pro and she doesn't want to, she's not interested in golf at all, but Finn Pretty just, well. Finn? for some reason, is hooked on golf, you know, and <laughs> it's, uh, it's hey, one thing to be taught, but when you've got yeah. internally that drive to want to play, then... Yeah. That's what you need, you know? So, so Dale and Catherine, as parents, how seriously are you taking this? You're hearing a golf pro saying, you know, this little boy has, has a passion. <laughs> are you worried about how you nurture that talent versus burning him out by the time yeah. he hits kindergarten? At many times we have to tell him just to calm yeah. down and to back off. But every day he'll ask me to go to the driving range. Yeah. And I just simply yeah. have to say, I'm sorry, you can only go on Saturday or Sunday. And so he'll just play around the house um, mm -hmm. for a couple of hours almost every single day. And uh, it's just the thing that he, he loves to do. And um, so we're just supporting him as best we can without, you know, making it too serious. Just a heads up, and I know it's a bit down the track for you, but all his friends are going to be really cranky when he says for his 21st birthday he wants to go mini putt-putt. Yeah. Well, he went for his three-year-old, uh, three-year you know, year birthday, we went to putt-putt. And, and he was he, the only one that got it. He in. loved it, he loved it. Can I say how unusual it is for a little three-year-old to come in and, and he's, he is not phased by the cameras at all, he's not even looking at what else is going around, yeah. he does have that single-minded determination. Yeah. So where to you from here now, Matt? Like, what do you do? He comes for a lesson no. once a week. Well, what the main thing you? is we just try to keep it fun for him. Mm -hmm. um, and keep it interesting. We'll work on, you know, target oriented stuff. Yeah. So, uh, not too much technique, just the basics. Um, that's all he can really all right. handle at the moment. But yeah, mainly just keeping it fun and keeping it. Uh, okay. Well, uh, um, we well, have know, one more go. See what he thinks of. What do you think of the green? What's this green like? Does it feel funny? 
doesn't it's feel not, funny. Well, it doesn't, it's not, the, it's not, you were talking about that. It's, yeah. it's the astroturf. Well, guys, the, the longer you can keep him focused and the longer you can keep a mobile phone out of his hand, <laughs> that means he will be a terrific golfer. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Thank, thank you. Guys. Thank you. And Kylie Bye, is available Steve. to give him some media training. Just like <laughs> See you, mate. Yeah, okay, nothing. off we nothing. go. Nothing. <laughs> oh! Oh, big finish. Coming up, all the week's horoscopes, including a health warning for Geminis. Firstly, he's John with a new way to work from home. Before we go to the break, we realised we didn't get to show little Finn's driving skills. We only showed him putting. So, look, he's just practising his swing. OK, so Finn, you go for it, darling, and we'll go to the break. Big shots. Wait till you see this. Whoa! Oh, yes. Next one. Beautiful. Next, Next one, one, sweetheart. Next one. Next one. Good one. Next one. Get your feet lined up, buddy. <laughs> oh, <geez>. oh, okay. <laughs> Good boy. In our next hour. Chris, we all thank Mini Golf Hire too for the hire, you know, for all of this. <laughs> in our next hour. I'm so happy that at this, this close, you know, this yeah. vicinity, that his, that, his, <laughs> that his bat ball coordination was good. You're right, Tom? Thanks. Good uh, we'll be back with more in just a sec. Good boy, Finn. That was fantastic.